I consider it a great honor to be invited to speak to you today. And at the same time, it is a great responsibility. Ideally, I should tell you something that you should remember for a while and that you can tell your grandchildren in 10 or 40 years from now. When I talked to my daughter recently about my own graduation ceremony, I had to confess that I did not remember anything other than the handing over of the document. The reality is you will always remember this day due to the state of the world in the middle of a global pandemic. But will you remember the words that were spoken or will you remember the actions and kindness of all those people surrounding you that made your goal possible? So my goal today is to leave you with words you won't remember, but that will become actions never to be forgotten. Today marks an important day in your lives, yet it is the beginning of a journey. And to get to this point was an important achievement in itself to which I commend you. The personal competencies that got you here, passion, commitment, tenacity, and most importantly, resilience. Those are the traits that will take you far into the world and the many successes that await you. As Christopher Robin told Winnie the Pooh, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. I grew up in a time where computers were not portable, phones were attached to the wall, and the only way to get messages was if your mom was home. And if you wanted to find out about something, you went to the library and you looked in the card catalog. But this also meant you had to be flexible and resilient creative and ambitious, and most of all, you took advantage of career opportunities that came your way, whether it was what you necessarily studied or not, because it was about gaining experience and climbing the ladder. Stephen Colbert, in his commencement message to Northwestern University graduates said, if everybody followed their first dreams in life, the world would be ruled by cowboys and princesses. The world you inherit is beset with unprecedented challenges, changes upon us, whether we want it or not. Yet, you have the greatest opportunity in generations to be the architects and builders of a new world. That world might look really scary right now, so I'm here to tell you what you need to do now and forever. Put the cell phone down. Look at people's faces and really truly observe the world around you. But where do you start? I've thought about this a lot lately as I have a daughter who will graduate from high school with nothing more than a piece of paper in the mail. Many of these students spent that first week extremely emotional with the thought of, how do I keep going? Why should I bother? So, what you can do to stand up and keep going, making the most of any situation. I will list a few ways as quoted by Admiral McRaven as he relates SEAL training to real life. Because face it, real life right now deeply resembles SEAL training. Number one. Make your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you will accomplish the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have been turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that it is the little things in life that matter. If you can't do the little things, then you'll never be able to do the big things. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home 
to a bed that is made, that you made. And a made, made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. So if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. Number two, measure a person by the size of their heart, not by the size of their flippers. The massive innate competitiveness brought on by social media initiates bad decisions. Stand true to yourself and make the important decisions based on the true actions of others, not those published on Instagram, but those posted on the hearts and the lives of those you positively influenced and touched. Sometimes, number three, sometimes no matter how well you prepare or how well you perform, you will still end up as a sugar cookie covered in wet and cold snow. Life isn't fair. No one ever promised it would be. It is what you do with what comes your way that will make the difference. Failure is not a bad thing. It helps us learn and grow. And I can tell you from personal experience, I fail at at least one thing a day. And at the end of that day, I review my success and failures. And it is a good day when the former outweigh the latter. But I learn from each and every mistake. Although, unfortunately, I'm a tad bit stubborn. And although that trait has served me well in some aspects, in others, it does take me a while to learn a lesson from a failure. But I always learn. Number four, don't be afraid of the circuses. Circus life is hard. It is chaotic and disappointing. The performers keep going with smiles on their faces. My career has been one major circus after another, but I have gotten where I am now by putting one foot in front of the other and a smile on my face. Number five, if you want to change the world, don't back down from the sharks. There are a lot of sharks in the world. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Stand up for what you believe in, what you trained for and dreamed of. Use your critical thinking skills that I hope we taught you to figure out how to get her done. Number six, when you are up to your neck in mud, don't stop singing. Right now, Denverites and many others around the world howl at a specific time every day. We thought the coyotes were out the other night at 8 p.m. and our dogs joined in the howling. So why is everyone howling? It is a way to be a collective voice in a time where social distancing is playing a large part in emotions and feelings of hopelessness. There is always hope. Remember when you were in elementary school and your teachers would leave you with the charge to make smart choices. So go out into the world, make yourself and all those who helped you get to this point proud of you. Look up from your phone. Don't be afraid to fail. Be a symbol of hope by singing in the mud. And lastly, be kind, gentle, and generous with your heart. You won't go wrong. Thank you.